हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू बैंक कॉम सो दिस इज द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ यूनियन बजट एनालिसिस यूनियन बजट 2019-2020 एनालिसिस सो इन दिस पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द इन्वेस्टमेंट्स एंड द फाइनेंस पार्ट ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो टू वर्ड आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दैट राइट नाउ द इंडियन इकॉनमी इज टू ट्रिलियन डॉलर्स एंड द बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट इज टारगेटिंग फाइव ट्रिलियन ट्रिलियन डॉलर्स बाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर सो दैट इज द टारगेट सो प्रेजेंटली द इंडियन इकॉनमी इज एट सिक्स पोजिशन इन द वर्ल्ड एंड इंडियन इकॉनमी रैंक्स थर्ड इन द टर्म्स ऑफ परचेजिंग पावर पैरिटी ओके ओनली नेक्स्ट टू चाइना एंड द यू एस ओके नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फाइनेंसिंग a new credit guarantee enhancement corporation credit guarantee enhancement corporation is to be set up in 2019 2020 why to finance the infrastructure projects to finance the infrastructure projects by bringing long term bonds in the market right so credit guarantee enhancement corporation it is to be set up to finance the long term Uh, to finance the infrastructure pro projects, so infrastructure projects needs a lot of finance. That too uh, via long term mode. So that's why the credit guarantee enhancement corporation is set up. Let's move on to the bond market. Now the government is going to allow uh, the stock markets to take the double A rated bonds as collateral. As of now, it is not possible. Why they are the government is allowing uh, the stock markets to take double rated bonds to take as collateral to bring the liquidity in the economy. In the bond market right now, there is a liquidity crunch. Many of the liquid funds like Principal, Taurus, right, uh, their value decreased by five to ten percent in a span of few days. so that's why the government they want to bring the li they uh, they want to actually bring the liquidity more funds in the economy right in the bond market so that's why this tip was taken so the trading platform for the corporate bond will be reviewed and to make them more user friendly as of now there is there are not many you know platforms available for the corporate bonds for equities for mutual funds there are lot of platforms like zero the cams my cams uh, carvi and all a lot of platforms are there uh, by some banks uh, platforms by banks are also available but for corporate bonds it's not available so the government is going to review that and the next important point this one is really important as of now in any listed public company 25% retail uh, public shareholder not the just the retail public shareholding is required the promoter Scan hold at max seventy five percent. In some companies, it is more than seventy five percent. So uh, the date was given that you should bring that uh, you know level to less than seventy five percent. Public shareholding of twenty five percent was required, but now that has been increased to thirty five percent for any public listed company. At least thirty five percent should be public shareholding. there can be at max 65% can be uh, by the promoter group okay so that's a really important point you can get this question you can find this question in the exam really really important question okay for fpis uh, the government is going to make the know your customer uh, norms easier social stock exchange this concept this this kind of stock exchange uh, exchanges are there in singapore and london but now there will be an electronic online platform to list all the enterprises social enterprises working for realization of social welfare uh, there are already many uh, you know crowd funding uh, websites are already there who are working fine but now the government of india they are going to you know list it they are going to make it uh, systematic right now it is not systematic the government of india is going to make it systematic that's really important for fdi the government is going to consider the government is actually considering uh, opening the fdi in sectors like aviation as of now the fdi is not allowed not 100% allowed i mean 100% fdi is not allowed in aviation in media in insurance sector so the government is going to open up these sectors aviation media and insurance 
एंड हंड्रेड परसेंट एफ डी आई विल बी परमिटेड इन द इंश्योरेंस सेक्टर रियली इंपॉर्टेंट सो द लोकल सोर्सिंग नॉर्म्स इज गोइंग टू बी ईज फॉर द सिंगल ब्रांड रिटेल सेक्टर राइट दैट्स अ रियली इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूज ग्लोबल इन्वेस्टर मीट इन्वेस्टर्स मीट विल बी ऑर्गेनाइज एनुअली इन इंडिया यूजिंग नेशनल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन्वेस्टमेंट फंड ओके सो रियली इंपॉर्टेंट सो इट हैज बिन प्रपोज टू इंक्रीज द स्टेचुटरी लिमिट फॉर एफ पी आई इन्वेस्टमेंट इन अ कंपनी फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी फोर परसेंट टू सेक्टोरल फॉरन इन्वेस्टमेंट लिमिट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन इंश्योरेंस इफ इट इज हंड्रेड परसेंट इट विल बी हंड्रेड परसेंट ओके सो ऑप्शन फॉर कंसर्न कॉर्पोरेट टू लिमिट इट टू अ लोअर थ्रेश होल्ड सो इट विल बी एन ऑप्शन फॉर द कॉर्पोरेट वेदर दे वॉन्ट अ लोअर लिमिट और नॉट सो द एफ पी आईज विल बी परमिटेड टू सब्सक्राइब टू लिस्टेड डेट सिक्योरिटीज issued by real estate investment trust and infrastructure investment trust as of now it was not possible what is real estate investment trust it is a kind of a mutual fund uh, for real estate right i hope that particular line explain its purpose so it is a sort of it is a kind of mutual fund for real estate uh, suppose you want to make an investment into you want to into a commercial property in bangalore and you have just 2 3 lakh rupee even 10 lakh rupee it is not possible to buy a commercial property in indira nagar just for 10 lakh rupees but with the help of real estate investment trust you can do this <clears throat> so nri the portfolio investment scheme is going to be merged with the fpi route okay simple so the steps taken for psb public sector bank the government is the government of india is going to infuse 70000 crore rupees of capital in the public sector banks right and the psbs will leverage the technology by offering online personal loans door step banking in a, i mean wahan pe jaake to sunte nahi hai door step banking denge i mean this is really funny actually i mean uh, i have an account in sbi and i have accounts in like uh, account in canara as well i mean they don't listen to you whenever you go to a public sector bank they just, they just don't listen to you right uh, you need to you know stand in the queues and all but now the, they are going to provide you the door step banking i mean it's hard to digest actually anyways uh, i'm not degrading anybody please don't mind don't write anything in discussion forums okay so steps to be taken to empower account holders to have control over cash deposits by others in their account that is a really important point so uh, steps to be taken i mean that ke, uh, after the demonetization that was a quite normal thing right i mean suppose i have a, a friend in a bank i mean i have somebody uh, whom i know i mean people were using the accounts i mean depositing cash in the accounts and then transferring uh, making an online transfer making a transfer any ft or rtgs to the another account without uh, you know with the knowledge of that particular person that that was happening in, particularly in case of dormant account so uh, the steps were taken so steps taken for the nbfc this is really important the debenture redemption reserve uh, this particular uh, now the nbfc is they no they do not need to maintain that debenture redemption reserve what is debenture redemption reserve this is a provision uh, a kind of provision that nbfc is required to build over a period of time to repay the investors okay now there is no need to maintain that fund i mean you took loan from investors right and you are keeping that money a part of that money to repay the investor there is no point so due to the liquidity crunch in the nbfc sector the government of india actually is eased this particular uh, you know uh, uh particular section so to allow nbfcs to raise funds in public issues requirement of creating a uh, debenture redemption reserve It will be done away with. Okay, it's gone now. So now the steps will be taken to allow all the NBFCs to directly participate on the TREDS Trends platform. What is this platform? See, students, what is the business of NBFCs? What is the business uh, model of NBFCs like Bajaj Finance? They take loans with the help of. Uh, they take loans, kind of loans. from uh, they take money from the banks they take money from the investors like uh, and then they give loans to the con their consumers right 
they take money at the rate of 8-9% and they give loans at the rate of 16-17%, 15% and they make money out of it. That is the business model of NBFCs. But the loan that they are taking, the loan is taken on day one and the money that they are giving to the consumer, they are going to get that money back uh, in a span of 12 months, 15 months, 2 years, 3 years, 5 years, okay. But suppose there is a liquidity crunch that happened in Divan Housing Finance, Divan uh, DHFL, that happened in case of DHFL, that uh, they, uh, there was a mismatch of asset and liabilities. They, they had a good quality asset, they had good, good quality asset, they need, uh, they had to take back money from the market, from their consumers, but they didn't have more money to run their business. So that is why they had to sell those assets to Bank of Baroda. So that is the case. It is difficult to bundle those assets. What is the asset? The loan that you have uh, given to, that, uh, to your consumer, to your customers. It is difficult to sell those loans to third party. But with the help of Treads platform, now it will be easier. Okay. This platform was basically started for MSMEs to sell their trade receivable, to finance their trade receivable. Okay. So that was a push for the NBFC sector. So really important. The government proposed to return. Now the NHB, the, uh, the housing finance companies, are going to be regulated by RBI instead of National Housing Bank. Okay. The housing finance companies like HDFCs, now they are going to be regulated by RBI instead of National Housing Bank. Okay. An investment of 100 lakh crore is proposed in the infrastructure over next five years. Okay. And that is up to up to that, uh, that uh, the previous one, uh, the NBFC is over. So steps of separation, NPS will be national pension scheme that will be separated from pension fund regulatory and development authority. Okay. And the next and the important point, uh, the foreign reinsurers will be enabled to open branches in international finance services uh, center in the gift city Gujarat. And these reinsurers, they need to maintain, uh, they need to have net own funds of 1000 crores instead of 5000 crores. Okay. So steps taken for central public sector enterprises. Uh, so uh, what will happen? Now the retail investors will be encouraged to invest in the central public sector enterprises. Okay. And now the government will try to reduce its share even below the 51% to maintain 51% uh, while maintaining the largest shareholder, the majority shareholders position in that particular company. Before uh, the government was targeting that they should have 51% of the shareholding, but now they are saying it's okay to have less than 51%. Okay. So uh, the Air India uh, disinvestment, I mean, more action will be taken in that particular area. One more important thing, you might have heard about the Bharat ETF 22, Bharat ETF 22, Bharat 22 ETF. Now the government is going to offer ETF on the line of ELSS. So in these ETFs, now onwards, the government is going to launch another ETF, which will be under section 80C. Okay, the investors, they will get the exemptions under sector uh, under section 80c so the steps will be taken to meet the public shareholding norms of 25 percent of listed psus but now that is 35 percent anyway <coughs> as mentioned in the first slide the government is going to issue the coins of 1 rupee 2 rupee 5 rupee 10 rupee and 20 rupee now important point there will be a 20 rupee coin as well and that will be identifiable by the visually impaired Okay, the special sort of coins will be there. So that's all for today, students. Uh, please install the bank exams today mobile application. And if you like the way I teach, write a review and you can give me five stars. Like uh, this video, subscribe the channel and please write your comments in the comment section if you are unable to understand anything. And you can take a free RBI grade B course 
on bank exams today's mobile application so that's all for today students all the links are available in the description the pdf for this particular lecture is available in the description so that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye